2016 was an awesome year for Huawei, as another flagship joined the giant Chinese manufacturer's arsenal, the Huawei Mate 8, which has been released in 2016 followed by the Huawei Mate 9 and Mate 9 Pro, which will be reviewed in another video. This is m 4 k from Tech Watch and today's video is about the Huawei Mate 8. The Huawei Mate 8 is one of the latest smartphones produced by Huawei. It's a premium high-end handset. While using the Huawei Mate 8, you feel the excellent user experience alongside with the featured specs implemented. Some of the key specifications from the Huawei Mate 8 are 6.0 inch 1080p Full HD display, 16 megapixel camera, 2.3 GHz high silicon Kyrene 950 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, and a huge 4000 mAh battery. Honestly, the device is a good looking one. It's not something new from the Chinese manufacturer since we witnessed the hands-on design before on the Nexus 6B and the Huawei Mate 7. The big Chinese manufacturer pays a big attention to the design of its flagship smartphones. Even the unboxing experience has been improved than before. While unboxing a Huawei high-end device, you get the nice and special feeling coming from the premium materials and the well-studied luxury design provided by the company. In terms of design and poor quality, the metal and glass components provides a high-end vibe to the Huawei Mate 8 that has sharper and broader edges. The Huawei Mate 8 is a 6-inch smartphone or in other words, a 6-inch fiberlet. It weighs 185 grams and its thickness comes at 7.9 mm. The compact aluminium unibody of the Huawei Mate 8 provides a comfortable feeling while using it. A feeling that makes you satisfied about the paid price. The fine satin finish in the back and the soft clickable buttons in the right side of the handset make the user feel the luxury of the design. In the left side of the device we find the dual SIM card tray that also doubles as a micro SD card reader. The downside about the SIM card tray is that the second SIM card slot can be used only for 2G, which is a little bit limit the use of the network between the two SIM card slots. The well-designed fingerprint sensor is one of the best aspects of the Huawei Mate 8. It's implemented in the back on the non-removable back piece. The sensor is fast, responsive, well-designed and well-situated as you can reach it easily with both hands. No lags has been noticed while using it. And the other good things about it is that you can set it up to perform other tasks other than locking and unlocking the handset. You can use it to take photos, answer calls or even turn off the alarm. Let's jump to the display. The 6 inches display on the Huawei Mate 8 is a 1080p Full HD with a retina of 368 ppi. I'm pretty sure that the retina has been studied well in order not to consume battery and graphic chips performance than it should. With the 6 inch Full HD display, the battery and graphic performance are the things that should be in a high priority in the process. Blacks in the IPS Neo LCD panel by GDI compared to those on the AMOLED display, well, they are not that spectacular, but they are still noticeably better than those that we can find in any regular IPS LCD display. For the audio, the speakers in the Huawei Mate 8 are unfortunately a little bit low in terms of loudness. But the audio via the 3.5 jack is amazing. Even with external amplifier, the audio is still clean. For the camera that comes with the Huawei Mate 8, it's a 16 megapixel camera made by Sony, which also supports optical image stabilization, face detection, autofocus, a dual tone LED flash. 
and as it has been already the case with Sony cameras, the camera provides noticeably soft images with lack of details and texture, and there is also a lot of noise in the images. During daylight, the Huawei Mate 8 provides amazing images with pleasant colors, but the dynamic range is decent. The front camera of the Huawei Mate 8 is 8 megapixel camera. Well, there is not details, little bit of noise, good dynamic range, and pleasing colors. There is also a nice looking bokeh or the background blurring. For the camera, Huawei company made a big jump by bringing the Leica dual camera to the Huawei P9. We would love to see that on the Huawei Mate 8, but I am pretty sure that the next P10 or Mate 10 will have a huge improvement in terms of cameras, as it has already been the case with the Huawei P9. Let's jump to the battery life. There is nothing to complain about regarding the battery in the Huawei Mate 8. It comes with a 4000 mAh battery and it supports fast charging. With the 9 volts to a fast charging technology, it can recharge the 4000 mAh battery from 0 to 35% in 30 minutes. The only thing that we should mention it and that cannot be a real down for the handset that there is no wireless charging support for this device. In terms of software, while we need to do more improvement, in my opinion, and I am pretty sure that I'm not the only one, while we need to push more work on the software department. As we could notice, the MUI 3.0 Android Lollipop based contains a lot of bugs that has not been fixed till the upgrade to the Marshmallow. And the other thing that makes it hard for me to get used to the Huawei software is that there is no app travel. While we try to add new features to its EMUI as a way of improvement, but still need a lot of work on the improvements itself, as it is already the case with Knuckle Sense features and voice control feature. Apart from the software, the Huawei Mate 8 with a huge 4000 mAh battery and the luxury design is truly a flagship and worth all credit. It was to M4K from Tech Entourage. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.